hello everybody welcome back to my channel um if you're new here my name is kendall and i am obsessed with reading the bible and digging into god's word i shipped my bible out to crew and co and they rebound they rebinded my Bible. Here are some old pictures of what it used to look like. Um, but they rebinded it <laughs> and um, put this nice leather cover on it. And um, I just absolutely love it. So here's kind of like a side angle of it. They put three new ribbons in it. And there's the top of it. And it's just very sturdy now. It feels a lot more sturdy than it was. Um, obviously, it was held together by duct tape before. So, this is definitely a step up. Before I shipped it out, I had to take out all of these loose papers that I just had in different spots. Um, just in case it fell out during the process and they lost it, they told me to just go ahead and take out all the loose papers. So, now that it's back... Um, I wanted to go ahead and put these pages back in where they were and while I'm doing that I also wanted to share with you how I got the Bible and kind of a little testimony about me if you um, enjoy this video please give it a like if you like me please subscribe and check out my Instagram but um, let's go ahead and start doing this this was a coffee and Bible time video that they did on Ruth back in like 2019 or something um, that I followed along with. And so we're gonna go ahead and put that back in Ruth. Let me go ahead and share with you guys a little bit of my testimony and where this Bible came from. So back in 2016, I was 14 years old and I was about to go into high school, into ninth grade and that summer before high school, I actually was moved out of public school into private school. That was like devastating for me. Life was crumbling on me. Life was devastating. I couldn't even believe my parents would do something like that. Yada, 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 yada. Basically, I went to this new school and it was a Christian school. And so I was faced with um, taking a theology class and um, learning about God and everything and I grew up in a Christian home but Christianity was just kind of something that I was taught it was just something that like my parents told me to do so I did it um, but I had never really questioned it until I went to this theology class and I was kind of faced with what do I actually believe and why have I just been like taking my parents word for it I want to know God for myself if he really is real then he will show himself to me I basically challenged God and I was like okay Lord if you're real then prove it and let's just say he did <laughs> um, slowly over time I was um, in this class I was asking questions to my teacher and really 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 trying to understand who jesus was and more, more importantly i was really trying to understand if it was legit um and we read a bunch of apologetic books um you know books defending the faith and all that and slowly over time i basically came to realize that okay i think this is real um it logically makes sense um, but I did not really have a profession of faith until April 17th, 2017, and we were on the way to a funeral. Um, and it was somebody that, like, I wasn't close with, but my dad was close with. And it was also a funeral that was happening on a school night, and so I had to get up in the morning. And I was just very irritated. Um, that my parents made us go because the funerals are all the way in Georgia. Um, so I was very agitated to say the least. Well, the guy was a worship pastor at a church in Georgia. And so his wife decided to have his um, celebration of life be um, a worship night, basically. So the, the, it wasn't really a funeral per se, although they did talk about him. But it was more so just um, honoring the Lord with music, worship. My mom, as we were walking into the church, 
she said, I don't know why, but I feel like somebody's life is going to get changed tonight. And so I was like, okay, mom, whatever. Like, I don't even understand what you're talking about. She was right. And that night I got saved. It was during the song, What a Beautiful Name It Is. And I don't know, the Lord just got a hold of me. And that was the night that I was like, okay, yep, this is it. This is it. You are my God. You are not just my parents' God, but you are now my God. And I proclaim to be a Christian. I didn't tell anybody for a couple days, actually. And it, I think it was the following weekend that I, I went to get biscuits in the morning with my mom. And I just happened, like, my heart was beating out of my chest trying to tell her. And I was like, Mom, I have something to tell you. And she was like, okay. And I was like, I think I got saved um, at Jake's funeral. And she just could not believe it. She was like crying and um, just tears in her eyes. So happy. But for some reason, I just thought that I was going to get in trouble. I guess I thought that they would be upset that I was saying that I wasn't saved before. Um, that's kind of where my head was at. But... Um, obviously that was not the case at all ever since then i got i've been pretty much headstrong for jesus thanks to him and been doing all that i can to follow him so now let's talk about where the bible actually came from um so you know i said i went to a christian school well at the school that i went to when you got saved it was a big deal obviously and so my mom, after I told her, she told me to call my principal. Her name was Robin. And I called her and I told her that I was saved and she was so happy for me. And when you got saved at the school, um, you were given a Bible. So I got saved and I was given a Bible. And this was the Bible. Okay, I just covered up the school's name and my last name, but um, this is the information um, presented to Kindle by the school, the principal, um, for accepting Jesus as her Lord and Savior, April 17th, 2017. And she put the verse Jeremiah 29 11 just for me to remember. This is where that Bible came from. I just went on ahead and put all of those papers in there that were loose. So before I um, end this video, let's just do it. I'm going to do a quick like just little flip through for you guys because I know a lot of you wanted to see um, a bunch of the pages.
I want y'all to know that this didn't just happen over like a month or something. Like this is six whole years worth. This is six years worth of reading the Bible. So don't get discouraged that your Bible looks the way that it does or don't get into a comparison game because comparison kills creativity and um, it also stirs up envy and all these negative things that we don't need in our lives. So um, use my Bible as encouragement and inspiration and motivation and all those things, but definitely don't don't use it as an envious thing, please, because um, that's the last thing that I ever wanted. Thank you guys for watching this video and for following along with me and for just supporting me through all of this. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the stories that I had to tell. And I will see you guys on Instagram. Bye!